The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're at the Hatteras facility in New Bern, North Carolina to discuss, well, the elephant in the room, the higher cost of a Hatteras yacht. The fact is, there's more that goes into a Hatteras from many different aspects that command a premium value for a premium yacht. For starters, there's the resin infusion process. It's much more involved and much more labor intensive, but the result is a lighter boat with more strength. We'll also discuss how the factory maintains the quality control that makes the boat so well regarded with respects to their fit and finish. Let's start with the small component pieces and see how it comes together. Here's an infusion table. This is where smaller items are built up. The bulkheads, salon decks, etc. The first step is to assemble everything dry with this Divinacell foam. It's cut so it can be bent and shaped. Plus, this allows the resin to seep well into the core. Also, because each of the 1x1 one one cubes gets encapsulated, if we were to put a screw into it, water would still not get past the single piece that we screwed into. The process begins with the foam core component. Laid on top is a fiberglass mat, then peel ply, then the media flow. It all gets bagged. A resin line is run through the bag. Then tack tape gets put onto the vacuum line, which gets attached to the assembly. Now, once the assembly is done, then it's bagged and sealed. Everything here needs to be perfect because if flaws get in, the whole piece is trashed. There really is no room for error, so it's a painstaking process. And these suction tubes are then added to the bagging process. Finally, the whole piece is sealed up tight. Then it's time to actually attach the hoses from a suction pump manifold to the bagged part. As all the air is sucked out, the bag forms to the part. Meanwhile, our guy goes and fetches a bucket of resin, adds hardener and mixes it up, and now the clock is ticking. When it's mixed, put the pickup line in, release the clamp, and the ongoing suction draws the resin into the vacuum bag and through the entire piece. The result is a solid piece of material, hard as a rock, plus each piece gets numbered so they know exactly where it goes. So is the process the same on a larger scale, like when, say, a yacht is resin infused? Yes. Yes, it is. Here's a time lapse on a 59 footer showing exactly that. Even the locations of the feed drums that hold the resin is carefully planned. Something on this level takes about 10 days of prep, and the whole infusion process itself takes maybe 65 minutes to complete, including areas like the bow thrusters, struts, shaft logs, even the hull side windows getting doubled up on the glasswork. But the point being, the process is absolutely the same. So how do they know they did it right? Well, first, visually, but they need to go deeper than that. Pieces eventually have to be cut away, a porthole, a strut, an exhaust port, something like that. They first look at it with a magnifier to ensure that it has the right number of layers that it's supposed to. Then, that piece gets weighed and then put into a furnace. The fiberglass doesn't burn, but the resin does. So they burn it away and measure again. Now, with some calculations, they can determine the exact resin-to-glass ratio, look up what it's supposed to be, and ensure that they match. But that resin infusion and quality control process is only one part of that added expense. Many more extra steps that Hatteras takes are what not only add to the yacht's expense, but make the difference in a Hatteras. For example, the hull and props are tuned to each other for better efficiency, and the props are pitched right in-house in this prop shop. The exact pitch of each prop is carefully measured against specs and, if necessary, moved over to have the pitch adjusted. I've been on a lot of factory tours and this is the only time I've ever seen this procedure done rather than just putting a stock prop on. The result is a smooth, vibration-free yacht, even when observed where the vibration would be the worst, right over the props. Now a lot of this in-house work leads to some very interesting technology being developed right here in the Hatteras plant. For example, the propeller shafts now have round keyways and the reason for that is when you take this round keyway the load gets spread out all through the keyway instead of something like this where we're used to seeing a square keyway that would go into position here and as you put the propeller on you can see there's a little bit of a lift created at the end and that creates a stress riser right where the part gets lifted you have a torque stress created and you can see here it starts and it goes all the way around the shaft and it twists all the way around and down and it keeps going down and keeps going down until it ends right about here. Now it's at this point that this captain happened to shut this shaft off. If he had kept it going then that's what you would have ended up with. Now because Hatteras went 
From the square keyways to the round keyways, the shaft failures have dropped to zero. The rudder is not just welded to a shaft like we usually see. Instead, the shaft is slotted and the rudder slides into that slot, then it's welded. So instead of the weld keeping the rudder from spinning on the shaft, this weld only holds the rudder in place. The slot keeps it from spinning so no loads are transferred to the weld. Now in this boat, the fuel fill is on the port side and it's kind of a neat setup. Let's take a look. First of all, we've got the patented Hatteras vents and you can hang a bucket under there to catch any fuel that might come out of the vents, but that's not gonna happen because we have fuel level indicators so that when it reaches 95%, an alarm goes off, we silence the alarm and then we can slow the process down. And then shut it off when we get to the full point. Now all of this of course is connected to the HatCon app which is addressable on your phone so that you can be up at the fuel pump looking at the fuel fill and seeing how your level is. Take a look at this shaft strut bearing. Everybody has the grooves through here but we've all heard shaft squeal. The way Hatteras gets around that is by cutting these annular grooves in to allow more water in to lubricate the shaft and eliminate the squeal. Even the paint job is not spared from the intense scrutiny of Hatteras standards. The first step is de-waxing the hull. When it comes out of the mold, it's got to be de-waxed, washed, sanded, and then stripped. Now, it's important to note that I counted 10 to 20 workers on this boat, and they're going to be working for 10 to 15 days. And that's just doing the prep work on this boat before getting painted. So after all those steps, you can see what the finished product looks like. A beautiful, glossy finish. So clearly, there's a lot more than meets the eye in a Hatteras. There's a lot of quality control, a lot of out-of-the-box thinking, and a lot of unique engineering that makes these yachts among the best in the world. Premium price, yes, but premium quality goes with it. And that's our inside look at Hatteras Yachts. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.